Hello and welcome everyone back to another video. My name is DJ Cat and today we're back with a banger video where I wanted to talk about the current state of the crypto market today. Bitcoin and Ethereum have taken a big hit. I'm going to be explaining why today and what does that mean for us in the crypto bull run. What does it mean for the bull run? What does it mean for the altcoin season? What does it mean for your bags? What should we expect in the next 30 days? Okay. And at the same time, while this all is happening and looking quite bad and depressing, Pulsing, on the other hand, which if you are new to this channel, you should subscribe right now to not miss out on. Pulse Chain is doing quite well today. Uh, a lot of big wins. So we're going to be covering that as well. This is why, by the way, I love being in Pulse Chain. My greatest bet this upcoming altcoin season. Keyword is upcoming, by the way. So we're going to be explaining that as well. Um, yeah, Pulse Chain is a leverage of Ethereum. I've talked a lot about it. I've talked about my, the projects that I'm holding as well, but today we're going to be giving you guys updates with them. Um, so yeah, watch the whole video, video through. But going back to it, Bitcoin and Ethereum has taken a big hit. We're looking at 30% in the fear side of the fear and greed index. Bitcoin, again, very close to that 53,000. We do not want that support level, which is at the 53K level to be tested. Okay, we do not want that to fail, first of all. And then, of course, we don't even want to test it. Unfortunately, today, it seems like we have, you know, hit, a uh we've turned a support level into a resistance level ethereum is doing even even worse actually because when you look at the uh eth btc ratio looking at 0 0.041 which is not really great we need that to come back to the you know 0 0.55 where it was and of course going back to hopefully we might see a 0 0.1 ethereum uh eth btc ratio in, in 2025 where basically if bitcoin reaches one hundred fifty thousand dollars Ethereum will be one tenth of that, which is fifteen thousand dollars. Now imagine that translating to altcoins, which is by the way, this is why I said upcoming. We need Bitcoin to move. Then we need Ethereum to pick up and increase the rate of growth, surpass Bitcoin's rate of growth, basically. And then after that, we can then expect the altcoin season. So you have to be patient. Okay. Now looking at things like you know Solana, Ethereum, that's kind of an anomaly. It's doing really great. It's kind of one of the first things that kicked off in this year as well. A huge win if you were part of that as well. I've seen, I think I'm keeping an eye on Tron. It seems like it's picking up the volume as well. I've seen, you know, how people are slowly bridging away from Solana to go into Tron, kind of like the next wave. Uh, but yeah, things to look at. Might make videos on them. Let me know what you think of that as well. But going back to it, we need that ETH BTC ratio. So this is a really great indicator to look into. Aside from that, obviously, we're looking at the altcoin season index. We're nowhere near uh, on the other side of altcoin season. Because as I said, we need the two main coins to move. And as well, uh, we need the retailers to make their small little two, three, four, five X's, right? And then after that, they will want to make more X's. They're like, oh, okay, I just made my five X. I am richer, you know, uh, by a little bit. Let me go shop around and see what else. OK, because, of course, now Ethereum has hit, hit its top. OK, you you know have to wait another 3.5 years. They're going to look at elsewhere. They'll be like, oh, my God, I didn't know that 100 X's were actually possible in crypto. OK, I like this meme coin. That's a teddy bear. Who doesn't like teddy bears? And that's exactly what we have in Pulse Chain. Matter of fact, in, in Pulse Chain, we have everything for everyone, for different communities, for people with different tastes. We have different ecosystems. I've made ton of, tons of videos about this. You have to educate yourself. Okay, what I'm providing my videos, again, I'm providing information asymmetry. These are hours of research, accumulated hours of research using my network effect. I'm reaching out to a lot of people. I'm getting information from a lot of people. I'm funneling it down to you guys in a short video such as this. So again, if you do appreciate this, you know, give this video a like, comment down below. Let me know in the comments below, you know, what have my videos helped you in what way, etc. And of course, don't be left out, by the way. Join my Telegram link in the description because it feels really bad to be in crypto, looking at your bags every single day, which is not healthy to look at your charts or your portfolio. Your portfolio does not look good right now, probably. Mine too, okay? It does not make yourself feel good where you might start self-doubting yourself and then you might fall into the emotional response and then maybe even worse realizing your losses don't do that remind yourself what are we here for okay the biggest winners are the people who win last referring to the fact that bitcoin needs to win first ethereum second altcoin season last 
Okay, that's where the true hundred to a thousand x's are actually possible. Now, I understand with every bull run, the dilution effect, the diminishing returns, uh, comes with it as well because now we have well, uh, well now we have a lot of selection of tokens to choose from, which basically dilutes it, which makes it even also harder because this is actually apparently this is the worst bull one, most hated bull cycle so far because of the fact that we don't have any innovation you know last one was basically DeFi. the one before was basically ethereum uh, and then the one before before that was basically forks of bitcoin which is pretty cool like stuff like litecoin etc and then obviously the one before that was bitcoin itself so uh, yeah this this bull run we don't have anything else i mean people saying i don't know um nfts are gonna have a comeback or whatever don't really think so in my opinion um it has to be something innovative something that really is groundbreaking and I, in my opinion i mean it seems like it's meme coins guys okay it really does seem like it's meme coin which is basically the protest against the vc you know venture capitalist you know coins against that against uh, the the stock market etc cetera, etc cetera. But, um, you know, I want to hear your thoughts. What is actually the true meta of this bull run? Again, it is it is meme coins at the end of the day. You've seen it happen with Solana. It has actually already created a lot of, made a lot of people rich this year already. Now, at the end of the day, you know, is Solana going to be the go-to token? No, I truly do think the wave is going to move on. And then the torch is going to be passed on to something like Tron, something like Base Chain, something like, I don't know, other tokens. And then, of course, Pulse Chain will have its turn and then we'll I probably do believe that we will have the biggest winners in here because we are such a small yet very liquid network. Okay, we have the greatest growth potential, guys. We have the smallest market cap against all the networks that I'm mentioning in this, in this video so far. So think about how it's way more possible for us to obtain hundreds of X's. Okay, so think about that. It, you know, you have to think about it in a way where it's like, okay, you have to look into ratios and then you have to look into what is a leverage over the leverage of a leverage, which is what? Pulse chain. Pulse chain is a leverage of Ethereum, which is a leverage of Bitcoin. Okay, so keep that in mind. Uh, anyways, going back to it, looking at Pulse chain today, you know, 10.7 million. Again, nothing too extraordinary in terms of the volume, but it is a big winner today specifically in the uh, tropa ecosystem shout out to the tropa ecosystem you know tokens like bff this is to do with the dysnomia affection again do dysnomia die hard is part of the rewarder ecosystem gives you rewards in p die shout out to them i got airdropped by them as well uh teddy bear the number one meme coin undeniable undisputable unarguable <laughs> okay uh, meme coin of of the network teddy bear okay you can understand it you love it you want to be part of it whether if it's an investment or just because you want to be part of the community just by reading the word it takes you a split second to understand it and that's actually the psychological checks for a meme coin that it needs to check for a lot of people to adopt it same thing with pika shout out to pika by the way this is a cto community takeover token and then we have others down here as well, PLUC, shout out to PLUC. I might make an update video on them with their latest alpha. We will see. I might even do an interview with, um, you know, the representative behind PLUC. So, uh, yeah, super smart people, by the way. Very smart, talented people in there. Um, but, uh, yeah, going back to it. Again, do remember, join my Telegram link in the description. Uh, go follow me on my Twitter. You know what I mean? I just posted a, a new post as well. So, uh, appreciate you if you do so uh aside from that what i'm going to be doing by the way after this video i'm going to be watching a full code review of pulse chain development a uh, deployment sorry this is from maria guys this is literally his youtube channel that nobody not a lot of people know about look at that 478 subscribers i'm going to try to remember to put that video in the description because i am myself i'm trying to learn solidity i am a software engineer in my nine to five job by the way uh, but i'm not really a web3 developer or a solidity but i really do want to get into this so expect videos on that soon as well okay because you know one of the best ways by the way i've already said this when it's markets where it's bloody and how can you make money you can make money in my favorite way which is actually in a passive income way through farms and the only farm that i can literally recommend people where i personally trust money that i would mind losing would be Pulse X because the farm has withstood the test of time. And of course, it's with the Pulse, it's a native 
uh, farm you can see the aprs are very consistent of course this is not locked by the way you can join it you can make 48 percent apr that's very very good it used to be 80 percent apr but obviously because of the the volume and etc the state of the market it has gone down a little bit so uh, yeah you can take advantage of that okay pack up your money this is kind of low you know uh, low uh, impairment loss in my opinion you have to learn about it if you don't know about impairment loss go research about it before you jump into farms but that's a minor thing to keep uh, in mind of specifically if you are in a long-term position then impairment loss shouldn't be that big of a deal to you okay so uh yeah i was gonna say so aside from you know making money in those bloody markets by providing liquidity the third way which i really want to learn in my own time is to be a builder make your own projects or you know make your own trading bots etc etc arbitrage bots mev bots if it's you know ethical okay i want to hear your thoughts are mev bots ethical <laughs> you know what i mean uh etc etc uh but um yeah aside from that guys you know we're going to be talking more about kind of the latest news why has ethereum kind of went down today as well it took a bigger hit than bitcoin unfortunately and it, one of the reasons is here is from vanek this is kind of like a uh, asset management firm that you know manages like 75 percent of their assets are in etfs they are planning to shut down and liquidate their ethereum futures okay just due to because uh, due to because of the price action i believe and as well the demand so you know a small i'd say it's not really a big loss it's a small loss really um it is what it is okay but a lot of people t look at this and it creates that negative sentiment and of course it fuels the stuff that you're looking at today really okay so uh, that's one of the other reasons the second reason is of course vitalik uh people have been keeping an eye on the ethereum foundation wallets and his wallets because he's donating to the ethereum foundation and ethereum foundation is turning that into die which is basically selling that's a sell event um so that they can you know fund them to you know develop stuff what are they developing i don't know stuff like ethos uh charities etc etc which is of course like this is you know fair enough but people are looking at this it is a negative thing you're selling ethereum especially at these times where those sales will kind of break the momentum of the chart and i do get it like this is not the great time to to sell it you know don't break the chart type of thing um at the same time people are just you know it's controversial they're saying you know is i, I do you really want to sell ethereum to build an ethos do we even need an ethos etc etc and he just he just argues that you know some of the projects and some of the charities that he donates to and funds uh it goes beyond you know improving your portfolio and it's more about you know improving the the greater humanity which i get where he's coming from i think it's just the bad timing um etc etc so i mean i want to hear your thoughts obviously stuff like this even if you think it should be absolutely fine you know whatever whatever because technically he said that or he claimed that he hasn't uh taken any profits personally since like 2018 which is pretty fair enough you know that's pretty fair enough but at the same day ethereum foundation there's been tons of records of them um getting ethereum and basically selling it right because they do need to get paid they're developers at the end of the day so uh yeah i want to hear your thoughts but this is one of the other things that fueled the, the the market today. But in in terms of better news today, by the way, um, the founder CEO of Dell, what's his name again? Uh, Michael Michael Dell, basically endorsed in a way, calling Bitcoin uh, fascinating. Didn't really hint that he's actually holding Bitcoin, but that's pretty cool. You know what I mean? Talking about, uh, you know, you have to have big ears to listen and be open to ambiguity and a fun fact that i didn't know that actually dell enabled bitcoin payments back in 2014 absolutely crazy to me man crazy crazy to me. he must be holding a bag. he must be holding a bag honestly look at this someone asking are you stacking sir <laughs> that's so funny but anyways but they did end up unfortunately uh, shelving that feature because of you know low low demand and there wasn't really uh, adoption for that but are we gonna see that next year you know what i mean 2025 we're going to see more adoption in terms of paying with bitcoin again this is a win-win even me as a pulse chain holder and not really a bitcoin holder anymore it is still a win because i don't know we're we're all in crypto we're all in the same boat if bitcoin gets to 49 million guess what yeah we're gonna get the green effect of that obviously due to hart's law because things are literally bonded together indirectly okay what's the the link between bitcoin and pulse chain is literally the fact that we have ethereum in the middle 
Okay, there's a lot of liquidity between Pulse Chain and Ethereum. There's a lot of liquidity between Ethereum and Pulse Chain. And of course, as the automated market makers, you know, are correcting the price values and fluctuating, yeah, things move like waves. You know what I mean? As Bitcoin goes up, we might it might take some time to reach that for the effect to reach us, but it will reach us. You know what I mean? So uh, yeah, pretty cool stuff. If you really wrap your head around it, Hart's law you will understand it but aside from that guys basically that's kind of what i've been wanted to cover here shout out to uh moon king uh, Beerus. he talked talked about uh, teddy bear as well pretty cool stuff you know is it gonna flip shiba inu or do the same numbers of shiba inu going to like 15 billion mark cap when literally when you look at teddy bear right now guys it is at 15 million mark cap is actually been a, a big win by the way recently because you know in my previous video if you watch my previous video it was literally at 9 million and in the next day of me dropping that video yeah you would have caught a beautiful let's see actually how much you would have uh, caught you would have caught a beautiful 68 percent uh addition so if you were spring trading yeah <laughs> that was a w same thing with pdi guys pdi was a huge win today uh, well, in the past few days, I really, really love it. It basically, wow, it did a 2x. Wow, that's actually pretty, pretty cool. Okay, because I literally uploaded my video right there talking about PDI, how it's super cheap. It only costs 1,500 to have a million units of PDI, which is a potential, a potential dollar, guys. This is a future stablecoin that you're looking at, where literally in the post X farms, it mentions pegged assets. You know what I mean? Like it says stable coins or pegged assets. That's kind of a hint. You know what I mean? And then obviously when you go to uh, do, do, do info, stable as well, this is the new curve liquidity, which is pretty cool, by the way. It's non-symmetric liquidity. Well, yeah, it's non-symmetric liquidity, but it's, you can have three tokens in a pool right now. Uh, if you're wondering how much APR would you have, because obviously this is basically zero impairment loss, you would have a 4.87 APR. Again, this is, you know, not much, but do remember whales with a lot of money would feel very confident parking it here. It would reduce slippage for us. As Richard Hart said in this tweet right here, what is the new Pulsex uh, protocol kick ass left side has stable swap off and 0.8 percent slippage right side has it on and 0.51 percent slippage that's a 36 percent less uh, slippage and that's with quite little liquidity which is basically i think 250k in liquidity by the way so i'm gonna try to you know slowly park up money there because you know, that's called passive income guys you know what i mean passive income with different levels of risks that's amazing that's the true key to success in real life is to have different passive incomes don't rely on just one stream of income so uh yeah anyways guys listen i'm very sleepy i'm gonna end the video there i just wanted to talk about as well things to keep an eye on because i did talk about you know the current state of the crypto market how is it looking like okay it is looking obviously very negative sentiment right now sentiments do fade away but thing to look out for is the next upcoming FOMC Federal Open Market Committee meeting okay which is in September 17th to 18th that is something to look forward to uh, and to be careful around be cautious because that could create that meeting could come out to be uh, you know fueling even more negative sentiments which will just delay and impede things but again to keep in mind that Bitcoin is at a critical level where we do not want it to go under that 53k so we're not dollars away from it hopefully we'll get a bounce back um and you know things might be looking good because i do believe towards the end of september if we are above that 53k we might see a rally back up to all-time high to you know 70k plus i truly do believe that guys q4 of this year we're gonna get a nice bitcoin price i do do believe that and at the day you know i'm gonna end my video with a message you know uh you have to believe in something Okay, at the end of the day, you have to believe in something. I believe in EHEX. I believe in PHEX. Even when the experts in the crypto world have, you know, labeled it as a failure, labeled it as a scam, etc. Talking about Richard Hart being a scam. I literally, the more I research about Richard Hart, the more I know that he is not a scammer. You will see that the type of guy that he is. Look, I even made this tweet right here. If we scroll down, by the way, shout out shout out what well, i'm shouting out myself i was gonna say uh you know shout out to my recent tweet but this one right here look at this this used to be hex guys it used to be in the top 10 at cmc and then i was just writing here where i edited it 
founder fighting for our freedom compared to the others that are in the list. You know, the team is facing a lot of lawsuits. The founder does not hold any. Market Mater is in prison. Uh, the founder is in prison. <laughs> and then here, the founder is missing Satoshi, where literally there was a tweet of Richard Hart where he literally called Satoshi a B word for, you know, being a coward, etc. And here, Ethereum, the founder is out chasing girls while the team is selling Ethereum. So, uh, yeah, it feels good to be in posture. You know what I mean? Like knowing that the sacrifice funds are not going towards, you know, KOLs, you know, being disingenuous and then selling in behind people's backs. Nah, I like the fact that we have our sacrifice funds long in Ethereum, doing its thing. We're being very patient. You know what I mean? Like it feels great, guys. Ash feels great. And, you know, surround yourself with the right people and then you'll realize. Okay, you will realize at the end of the day, if your friends are selling musk, you will smell like musk as well. So keep that in mind. Okay, uh, I'm going to end the video there. Join my Telegram link description. That's my final message. If, of course, you want to support me, there's multiple ways you can support my channel. Becoming a YouTube member, you know, buying me coffee to keep me awake at these times. I'll take, uh, I'll catch you guys later and take care.